Alright, let me back up a second, guys. That's what we got going on. It's the story of the two Hondas. My buddy Michelangelo in the house today giving us a little hand. Got this fine specimen, 2008 black Honda. Got a wreck in the front. We got my 2006. We'll go there in a second. Engine's still in good shape. Pretty much everything with the front. Back got hit too. We got going on. Had a black leather interior in here. Got the back seat out. Got the front seats out. Had all kinds of pieces of plastic. So what you can see. No, you can't see it. All kinds of plastic taken out from down here. Oh. Stuff that goes on the center, the center console, or whatever that's called around the, you know, in between the seats. Wheel's gonna come back off and take the wheel. Pretty much everything out of the insides go into the new car. Gotten the wrecked airbags blew out. You know, I'm just looking up right now. Everything's in good shape though. I'd like to change, I might just change the whole doors, but then I'm gonna have to paint my doors. That's some of the damage from the wreck. Oh. But, you know, we can go through this step by step, but it's not that necessary. It's pretty much common sense if you're doing this kind of work. The bottom line is like all this stuff, it's all plastic. You just need to gently pry back on it piece by piece. It all comes off, you know. I'll show you what I mean real quick. See what I'm saying? Smack me in the face, right? Some love. But that's what I mean. There you have it. Take a second, walk over to the 2006 pond over here. See if going on. Driver's seat's ready to come out. It's right here on the back, anyway. All right, you still got a clip connected there. Where's it at? Oh, thought I grabbed that one off. That's for the weight sensor for the airbags and the seatbelt. I think it's a little too big to get in there. Okay, there we go. So we're going to change the whole, pretty much everything we can, but we're starting with the carpet, the seats. We'll probably do the plastics. Just go ahead and change the whole interior out to the black leather interior. Change the carpet. That one's an automatic. This one's a stick shift, so we'll still need to replace these pieces. There will be a few places to replace. But we're going to go with the whole dash. We got new, got new visors in the other one. Here's one of them right here. Get the front seats, back seats, <clears throat> carpet. Right, like you say with this stuff. This remember, I mean, we just start pulling it out. I'm kind of old school when I was young, couldn't do that with carpet. Right. Welcome to the new world, kids. That's what we got. A whole lot right. of plastic. I'm gonna set this out. Just put it on this tarp over here. Thank you. Oh, it ain't that heavy. Oh, oh my god, oh. exactly.
a nice seat. My ass was in that seat a lot. I probably put 50,000 miles in that seat. Found money. <clears throat> Yeah, a little armrest. This is actually a pretty nice. I mean, this makes pretty nice theater seating, man. Hey, without all, where you at? Say, without all those pedals in the way, with all that foot room, man, it's pretty nice sitting in that seat. So, but it was a wreck. Pretty comfy. It was a wreck before I got it, but I did my thing with it. We need to bolt these in the back of one of your pickup trucks. I could tell y'all adventures for, oh, I don't know, Ever. a couple weeks, a couple months straight. The adventures are as day long as the adventures are, you know what I mean? The story is as long as adventure was. Shit, you won't never catch up. That's for sure. You guys will never catch up. But, yeah. Put the junk in here. What else we got? A whole lot of plastics. Step my game up a little bit there. Look at this. Let's some tools. So the last thing I'm gonna do up here is cut this last piece of carpet up front so I can just get it through here without having to slip it around. I don't know. I might take that off. I might not. Looks like a bunch of shit to take off. Alright, for a second. Go mess around. We'll go mess around over here. A little rusty in this one. This one's been to the ocean, the mountains literally been lived in for months at a time like i say i can't even tell you guys all the stories this car's had multiple this car's had multiple sex partners um maybe check for std I, i'm tested for stds but i'm just saying she's that, no virgin that's the tip of the iceberg i would just, uh, presume for sure it's not like that i mean just saying had a couple nights at the movies or whatever We got two of them, man. There you go. Trade you for the ratchet. Let's see how that works. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. I answer all comments within five minutes. This is the lower seat belt attachment mechanism, mechanism activator. Gently. Just very gently pry on the plastic pieces to remove them. And make sure you put everything in one spot where you can find it later. 
like we're doing, we've been labeling everything and putting it in bags. I'm gonna go get some, uh, like maybe some WD-40 and like some lubricant for that. Or maybe just some lubricant. WD-40 kind of sucks. You think the layout looks the same? I do. Well, that's good. That's the fuse box cover for the inside. There's the fuses up in there. Next I'm gonna take off this little, this is the fuel pedal. I'm gonna take Got off this seat. little tiny going out. passenger seat, gone. Same story. Yep. Sure it. I need some room to tilt it. So I take a flathead screwdriver and pry this. I was just gonna use that. Try this clip off and then push the pan in. So, Get this washer and this spring, which I don't remember which way it goes. We'll have to figure that out or look for it. And then here's the Piece of the pin goes in, so I just put the spring back for right now. Say bye bye. He'll try it one more time and he'll have it. A little heavier than it looks. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Put that pin back on. A retainer clip, whatever you guys want to call it. The idea is just keep your stuff together. And this one here. There's a clip right here. It has to get pressed and then all the stuff comes out. So I'm gonna push in on this clip. Where are we at? There's the video. We'll push in on this clip. And I'm going to pull I'm going to pull up on this All right, and it's just going to come out like magic. All right, so we're a lot further along now. We got both seats out. Get all the junk out of the car. pedal out. I think that's what we were working on last time. There's a clip behind there. You gotta depress the clip, push in on the clip, or you can lift up. There's a mechanism in there that keeps it in place and that's it. It's just this piece. That's what it looks like. But anyway, you got in here to take it off. Pop this piece loose. There we go. And just pop this piece loose, just took a screwdriver, put it under this edge, and lift it up on it, and pop it loose. And find a way to get that out. Got a penny in there. That piece is gone. And I went down in here. Now, there's a 
piece that's missing right here that just pulled right out. It was all plastic. And then it's covering up like some, some material over here. So just like this. And most all this plastic pulls pretty easily. What did I do? I broke this piece. So critical guys. Be careful. Maybe watch somebody else's video beside mine. Oh that's funny. But yeah. Here's the other piece. Something like this. Wherever it is. This little gray piece went in right here. And it pops right out. And you gotta take these two. You gotta take these two screws out and in the box. This whole box will come out. There's two screws down in here. I know it's tough. Whatever, that's what we got. There were squirrels living in here. Uh now the kids spilt some chocolate powder. Here's some two screws. One, two, one, two. Let that loose. And I'll get these two off and we'll pull this. We're almost down to the carpet being out of here. Alright, so we got these two clip, took these two screws out. Now this piece is coming loose. We got the whole center out. Oh yeah, same thing on the other one. I forgot is this clip. set that aside and we'll start make a cut right here in the carpet and make a cut up here in the carpet we'll clean all this area out real good and probably take the back seat out clean this area out real good and we'll be back to install the new carpet all right before that we're going to take a little break oh this this uh this portion of the video is brought to you by walmart they make screwdrivers for 68 cent a piece. And what you do if you're like me, you never have the screwdriver that you need, which you only need two kinds in the Good world. Part of it. A Phillips head and a flat head. And whenever I go for a flat head, I could find like three Phillips. No lie, maybe even five of them. And then I couldn't find a flat head and I'd find five flat heads when I needed a Phillips. So what I do is I go to Walmart and I buy like 10 bucks worth of these things. You get like 15 screwdrivers and then you just hide them everywhere. Just stash a couple everywhere, a couple in truck, car, behind, it don't matter, underneath, over top, under your bed. And then when you need one, you have a decent chance of finding the one you need somewhere. But that's my tip for the day. Buy like 10 screwdrivers if you need one. And uh, I know you think, oh, you just keep it where you're supposed to keep it. Well, good luck, buddy. All right? All right, so shouts out to Walmart for the 68 cent screwdrivers. They're not that good. They do suck a little bit, but, you know, get a craftsman here and there. That increases your chances of having a good screwdriver if you need one. Because reality is like, trust me, you won't find it. Even if you have a craftsman and you think you got this it, right you here. won't find it. This one never failed me. No, they've been pretty good screwdrivers. Especially, like I say, for less than a dollar, I can play ball. I get 10 of them at a time. It's like my minimum purchase. Yeah, we're not doing too too intensive of work with these. So, peace out. Support the Illuminati. Don't forget about Walmart. Make sure your money goes to China. We all got to do our part.